Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome to an Advanced Warfare video where I'm going to show you all of my elite weapons, all of my supply drop weapons uh, that I've got on this game. Obviously I'm at 50 prestige, I've opened a ton of supply drops, so I thought you might want to have a little bit of a browse around to see what I've got. Uh, now the only, so I suppose, bad thing or disappointing thing, should I say, is the fact that I remember I did delete a lot of my elite weapons while going for max prestige. We were doing a 24-7 live stream and I wanted to hit max prestige as fast as possible. Uh, in the the end, I kind of wish we hadn't done it, but at the time, you know, 2000 XP or is it 1000 XP kind of seemed tempting and I ended up deleting a lot of them, but I still have a very decent catalogue of weapons to show you. First off, let me go through my operator here and show you what I'm wearing for those of you who are wondering what all this loot is. Uh, so go to customization. Uh, we've got the uh, no eyewear, obviously. We've got a helmet, which is the KVA Radical Mask. This was earned through a supply drop. Obviously, just pure luck that you get this one. And ever since I've had this one, when I go look at the other ones, they always seem a bit bulkier. Like, they seem a bit too uh, big. This one's quite a cool one, another elite one. And this one would be cool, but I don't like the way it's like got a hole in the middle. I prefer, if that was like a black visor or something, I might actually rock that one. But anyway, I go for the KVA Radical Mask. My top I'm wearing is the weapons master jacket for the heavy weapon. So this is getting royalty camo with the heavy weapons. Quite a difficult one to get, but then it's a major part of your loadout. So I think it's worth getting that one. Uh, my loadout here is the weapons master loadout from the assault rifles. So this is royalty camo with the assault rifles. You see that around quite a lot and it's probably worth getting because again, it's quite a, a large piece of kit on your loadout. Next up, the gloves. I'm actually currently rocking the Centurion gloves, which we got for finishing Platinum Division first place in the recent Clan War. Uh, other than that, the KVA Assassin gloves also go really well if you're wearing like gold like I am. Uh, but the Royal E gloves are probably the best looking ones in game that I've got. While you're holding a weapon and then you've got the Royal E gloves on, it really looks good. A nice contrast, especially if I have the, uh, I think it's Cryptic Yeti camo. So it's a bright white camo with the purple gloves. Really good contrast. But for an overall, cooler looking outfit it's got to be these assassin ones or the centurion ones for my gold kind of style thing i've got going on here the pants are weapons master pants uh, i don't really have any great uh, pants in this game those kind of aren't bad the kva radical pants which actually match the helmet there uh, they look kind of smart but obviously i'm all about the gold bling so these are my gold pants uh, knee guards I'm going with out because I don't actually have the ones for getting royalty camo on I think it's the pistols which is the one that you get the royalty camo shin guards for the atlas tier 1 shin guards are the ones that are uh, kind of close to it but I think it looks cool without them I think you get those atlas tier 1 ones uh, just for actually prestiging and as you can see I haven't got any elite ones that I've dropped that I've bothered to keep uh, for boots, I've just got some regular Atlas Tier 1 boots. These are ones you just get for prestiging. Boots, I tend to find, aren't really something that you notice too much. I do kind of like these boots here. These are actually something that I might wear, like, in real life. I think it's, like, the closest thing here I might wear in real life. I mean, look at these civilian boots. They look absolutely horrendous. But So, yeah, I'm just run rocking Atlas Tier 1. Once I've got Royal ESMGs, I should have, though, uh, the diamond boots. And my Exo suit, I've actually got quite a few Exo suits, but the one I'm rocking is the Centurion Exo, which we got of course finishing top in the platinum division clan war but i'll go into my other uh, loadouts and my other exosuits as we're looking at my armory so let's have a look at the armory uh, just gonna go for all loot and just sort by rarity so here we go these are all my elite weapons exos anything elite i've got from a supply drop the ak-12 rip i've showcased that in a video before the ameli whalehorn ameli is a very strong gun this one just has a bit less recoil haven't used it too much but seems like something worth using the amr dynamo and the amo amr pro pipe the pro pipe version comes with a noob tube attached i don't know if that's the only damage it doesn't actually seem to have much more damage in terms of firing shots uh, and it's probably just the explosives and then the AMR9 just has better fire rate at the cost of a bit of damage and range nothing too great really to be honest I've had about I've probably had about 20 elite drops AMR uh, and uh, AMR9s and uh, I normally delete them but I thought I'd start keeping a few just so I've got an elite version of every weapon eventually the ARX 160 damnation I've got the uh, elite version here and this is this is not bad but I actually prefer a different variant of the ARX I'll show you in a minute the atlas 20 millimeter uh, snapper haven't used that one yet atlas orbital exo this is actually probably one of my favorite exos looks really good really smart 
And then you've got the Atlas Orbital Boots as well there. The Bell Obsidian Steed. Everyone who hasn't got this one is just dying to kind of unlock this one. Unfortunate for me, I've like I've, I've never really had a play a time where I haven't been able to use this weapon. Even when I played the game early at a, at a capture event, I unlocked this really luckily in a supply drop. And when I actually bought this game full version, I unlocked this within the first few hours of playing. So uh, I kind of take it for granted, and I'm sure there's loads of you out there who'd really like that. But it's quite good, although I'm just as happy with the default version to be honest this one does have a little bit less accuracy lower fire rate uh, and the default one is pretty good so it's a good one to have um, but I, I like using the default as well now, HBR A3 is a very strong weapon, and I've got two elite variants here. The bare fist here comes with a red dot sight attached uh, and slightly better handling. Uh, I haven't really used this one too much. I do to intend on doing a full video covering that one, uh, but it looks pretty good. Uh, looking forward to getting stuck into that one. The HBR A3 Insanity, a very good weapon. High fire rate will melt people with the uh, kind of uh, kickback of extra recoil. I've done a whole video covering that one that you can check out if you want to find out more about that. KF5 Breakneck, another fan. And favorite I see a lot of people uh, on like forums and stuff saying they really love their KF5 breakneck for me the fire rate is a bit too much to handle I prefer submachine guns that are a bit more uh, easy to handle and this one's a bit crazy but pretty cool there we've got a mercenary exo there kind of dull that thing but uh, I guess it's elite the KVA radical loadout is uh, another cool loadout the KVA radical stuff is pretty good as you can see here you've got the mask the pants and the shirt that also that stuff put together does look pretty cool you've got this scout one the scout elite exo which is kind of nice a load of graffiti and stuff on there a moors elite version a laser guided missile a maelstrom helmet and a mayhem ball this one looks quite a lot of fun looking forward to using that uh, when i actually want to try and get the royalty launchers although the challenges on royalty launchers are a bit of a joke right now Moving on, we've got the MDL Backdraft, another gun that's not really, you're probably not going to use very much, but it's nice to have an elite version. Two, I actually had two MK14s, but they're not very good, the MK14s, even with the elite versions. But this one's got better range and accuracy, so I thought I might as well keep it. And it's got a grip on there by default. We've also got the Moors Silver Bullet, a sniper that a lot of the snipers are interested in. Gives you extra damage at a slower fire rate. I find it quite difficult to use, but it looks pretty cool. Nigerian Armoured Gloves here, and then Nigerian command loadout uh, Nigerian infantry exo I don't really like the look of that one I don't really think it should be elite drop Royal gloves which are my favorite gloves other than the gold ones I only really like the gold ones because they go with the outfit that I'm using R1 Rail Driver is a gun that I've already covered uh, in one of my Elite Weapons videos. Sentinel Mobile Exo looks kind of cool, a little bit plain though. Sentinel Operator Exo, not a bad one. I think that's a Chilean flag on there. And uh, this Sentinel Operator loadout, a little bit of a dull one for me, nothing amazing. SN6 the third. The SN6 is one of my favourite submachine guns uh, for search and destroy. It is quite weak at range, uh, but in search and destroy you can kind of negate that. It's definitely not as strong as the ASM1, but I'd probably say it's my second favourite uh, SMG. However, although this version does have extra damage and range technically, I don't really notice much difference in it. I think you'll be absolutely fine with the uh, default one. I've also got the Tech 19 Sledgehammer, which is really good good it's much more accurate when you hip fire with this version uh, although you'll be getting along with the, the default one just fine it kind of looks quite cool a lot of these elite weapons have like an old style uh, wood and gold look to them I don't know why that is the triumph helmet and then we've got the XMG bacon and eggs quite a cool thing I haven't really got stuck into this very much because I haven't covered this one uh, I, but I have used the XMGs before they are kind of fun so I'm looking forward to trying that one out and doing a video covering that so that's all my elite weapons there. If there's any of the weapons there that you'd like me to do an in-depth kind of episode on and cover it as a as a guide and really go into the stats, let me know which one you want in the comment section down below. I'll quickly just breeze over some of my uh, professional weapons and the ones that I like in particular. The AK-12 Bleeder is quite a decent one, but that slow fire rate is a bit of a pain. The AK-12 has quite a slow fire rate anyway, so to add a slower fire rate for a bit extra damage isn't really that great. And probably my favorite professional weapon is the ARX 160 hole punch. This is the only ARX variant that gives you a one shot kill, or should I say a one burst kill, uh, and that really is important, and it doesn't really suffer much. Handling and accuracy down one point, and I don't notice much difference. I'm really a big fan of the ARX 160 hole punch. If you like that, if you like the ARX, this is the one that you really want to get, in my opinion. Some of these other ones, they're nothing special. You can see you've got the Atlas here with a bit extra damage and better accuracy. I guess there's no real reason to not use 
use that instead of the default one. I've got two IMRs. I've got two versions of this. I should really get rid of one of these. Uh, basically, an IMR with a silencer on. And the only real gain is that that silencer won't take away from your crate 13 slots. I would love to get an elite IMR. Uh, I really do enjoy that weapon. It did take a bit of a nerf recently uh, when they updated the game. Now, some people have said to me, uh, just look at the patch notes. They didn't nerf the IMR, but if you actually uh, play with this weapon, you'll notice that you won't get one burst kills with the IMR anymore, and you did used to get them before. So no matter what the patch notes say, I'm not having it. They definitely played around with the IMR because I remember I was in the middle of getting diamond camo for it, and I can no longer get one burst when I used to be able to. So I'd also really love an extra uh, elite version of the IMR with an extra bit of damage. I think that would be a really nice weapon, uh, and I don't think much else here i really want the mp11 goliath as well but the mp11 plunderer is here not too bad sac3s haven't really used these very much yet haven't had to get them diamond i think i might do those ones next after i've done the mp11 uh, and i don't think there's really much else here worth looking at all the kind of same things we've got a heavy shield there which isn't bad and uh, obviously these are the weapons that i unlocked for getting 300 kills with each gun if you get 300 kills with a gun you get a variant of it like these ones and then at 500 100 kills of a gun you'll get a player card so that's something worth note if you say you don't have any variants of a gun and you'd like at least one variant just go get 300 kills of it and uh, you'll get that the hbr a3 average joe is definitely worth getting this is a much better weapon than the default one uh, i've got the imr feedback as well not too bad but like i say i'm waiting on that elite imr and a lot of these guns here and a lot of these unlocks are just for for doing things like um perk challenges and silencer kills red dot sight kills you get some strange gear i'm sure there is some really cool gear uh, to be had for doing some quite simple challenges and one in particular I know actually this SN6 this SN Magistrate is good one in particular I know that there is is uh, if I go into our challenges here I think it's the perks one is it no it's wild cards if you do all of these you can actually get this wild card mastery helmet which is a pretty cool helmet uh, if you haven't got anything incredibly good looking in your loadout and uh, you want to get something easy to get you can get this one because it's pretty simple you see for primary gunfighter you just get 200 kills with three attachments and a lot of them are just things like that it's probably going to be 200 kills with two attachments on your secondary and so on and so on so quite an easy one to get and something cool to get if you want a cool looking dude but you uh, you, you can't get the royalty or diamonds yet you not able to put in that kind of time anyway i hope you enjoyed this video guys don't forget to smash that like button if you did let me know what obviously elite weapons out of the ones i've got you want me to do a full video on for a elite weapon breakdown and tell me some of the elite weapons you've got because uh, i kind of want to know what else is out there there is actually a whole database for every elite weapon in the game. I'll try and link that in the description below. Uh, interesting to take a look at, but it's kind of disappointing really once you know what's out there and then you keep getting Nigerian knee pads in your supply drops for 45 minutes game time. So that's it for now, guys. Th hope you enjoyed the video as always, and I'll see you soon.